Hey guys, today we have a new device from Lee and Lee, and it's a device that most people don't need, but I feel it's actually got a lot more utility than just gaming aesthetic. It's a 8.8 .8 inch screen. It's a USB powered screen that you can use inside or outside of your PC, and it can connect via your internal or external USB. It's designed in such a way that it's not using up any additional video outputs, but you can have it literally as a display. It's a 60 Hertz IPS display. It's not phenomenal in terms of performance, but for data and metrics, this might be just what you need. I do like the fact that you can install it internally or externally, and it comes with a, actually a rather over-designed bracket. Let's open up and have a look where we go inside. This device is gonna be retailing for around eight in five US dollars. You have some general paperwork, you know, thank you card as always. You have a very basic, just a little manual. And we have the device itself. It's actually rather chunky, but it's also like quite secure inside. So it's nice. Two different cables. So you have the internal USB and also you can convert this internal USB to an external USB. So basically you can plug this into your USB header using this connector here or take the same connector, plug it together this way, and then you just plug it to the back of your PC. Well, I'm actually gonna test on the laptop in a second. We'll see if that works. Then we have a little screwdriver, a bracket. So this is a really cool bracket. And you have some more accessories. Screws, more screws, more screws, and some adhesives. With this bracket, let's have a look. So, because you mount this to the back of the unit, so you can actually mount it in three different locations as well. So that's the back. You can literally mount it here, here, or here. So the bracket itself tilts, swivels, and you can go this way, as well as, I believe, even, oh, and if you did swivel it this way, now you can also move it this way. So you actually have a lot of flexibility which way you want to ha have it go. So let's just quickly mount this to the device. Careful though, the screws are absolutely tiny. So we have the mount in. As you can see, you can actually, it holds just fine this way. So. So we can move it forwards and backwards and then left and right as well. And these can connect to 120 mil or with the adapter, you can actually connect them to 140 mil fans or fan header connectors. So the way it works is you actually connect it via the L Connect 3 software, which is the Lian Li standard software used for your fans, your uh, screens, then you should just pick it up. So let me just plug it in. I see in the software, a universal screen located. Let's see what it's got. Landscape, yep, set it up. So to control lightning effects, you just click on the screen. So in the software, we've got the universal screen. It came up already. So let's just put on a cat. Done. So actually it doesn't matter which way you connect it, whether it's upwards or downwards. And this is just on the laptop, so it's already pulling up all the details. You've got the GPU, the CPU, and the memory. That's actually kind of funky. And you've got loads of different designs. So this is kind of where this kind of device comes in very handy. It's, it does not only have to be installed on a PC, inside a PC. Um, its screen performance is actually around 500 nits. And it does look at, it's actually bright, quite bright, even the fact that we have it right now in our studio where we have bright studio lights. It's nice. In fact, if you look at it next to my laptop, it's brighter than my laptop. That's pretty good. And you have a bunch of themes. You can create your own themes and create your own dashboards. You can add lighting effects as well. So if you want to have like a rainbow color going around, you uh, can change the direction of it. It's gimmicky, yes, 
But the whole thing might be gimmicky in some ways, but actually, I'd probably say I prefer the cat. The cat looks nice. And it gives you all the information you need. You've got your network, performance, CPU, GPU. To be honest, something like this might actually be even useful in the likes of a server. If you have a server connected, but you don't have any monitor connected to it, you could easily display all the settings from it straight over this device. That would be an interesting use case. One thing I'm, I'd be cautious about is it is heavy. So therefore, if you set it to a particular you know location, is it going to start kind of leaning back? Well, oh, to be honest, it's actually quite hard to adjust it. And I do... I do like the fact that this has steps. So it's actually clicky steps. So it's, it's kind of holding in place quite well. And I feel you can actually tighten it a little bit. So all of these as well, like it's actually a lot of effort to move it around. So I feel maybe it'll be okay. So what we'll do is I want to set it up, test it a bit more, put it through its bases and then bring back and see what we feel about it. After a few weeks of testing the screen in a proper desktop setup and on top of the desk, here are my two cents. Once connected to the internal USB and an extension hub, it worked immediately. No GPU output needed, just plug and play through the L-Connect. This is one of the strongest points here. You get true secondary display without giving up a video port. Brightness though, really surprised us. On a desk, it's actually too bright out of the box. We had to dial it back down to around 75%, otherwise it was almost overpowering under normal room lighting. The panel itself is sharp and easily visible, even with the light shining directly at it. And what's even better, it never got warm to the touch. Over time, the bigger issue wasn't hardware, it was actually software. L-Connect occasionally lost its connection, especially after sleep or long inactivity. When that happens, the screen resets to default orientation, sometimes flipping upside down if you have it mounted vertically. Restarting the app fixed it most of the time, but we saw it happen several times, even with the software running. It's no deal breaker, just one of those small things you start to notice when it's part of your setup. I do hope that firmware will fix that. Mounting flexibility was easily one of the biggest advantages here. Even with the large air cooler in the way, we managed to fit it in nicely inside the case. The bracket holds firm once it's been tightened, since the stepped hinge has a good resistance and you can fine tune the position even after it's been screwed in. You can also simply mount it with the included 3M tape in place of your choosing. Just keep the cable routing in mind. If you don't plan ahead, that USB line can ruin the otherwise clean look. In practical terms, this screen became genuinely useful. While gaming, it displayed live metrics for CPU, GPU and network load. During system tuning and overclocking, it can act as a visual alert panel, though we wish there were some automation options like color shifts when temperatures spike. Outside of gaming, it's a good status display or even a desk clock when PC is turned off. I was glad to see it keeps showing stats or visuals as long as powered over the USB. Functionally, the 60Hz IPS panel does exactly what it should. It's not really meant for video playback or content creation, but for the live stats and dashboards, it's kind of perfect. No ghosting, no uneven brightness, and no heat buildup over extended period of time. I can honestly say that this screen isn't just a gimmick for RGB lovers. It's a genuinely handy secondary display, especially if you care about system data or just want something functional to fill an empty panel space. The only future improvements we could ask for are better stability in L-Connect and maybe some smart triggers for power users. So in short, the Lian Li Universal screen turns out to be one of those small upgrades that ends up feeling surprisingly useful. It's not essential, but it adds real function to the build, and it's flexible enough to fit almost to any setup, inside or out. If Lian Li can iron out some of the software quirks in L-Connect, this could easily become one of the go-to add-on for people who like to have system data visible at all times. It's clean, it's bright, and it just works most of the time. Thanks for watching. If you think this little display might be what you need, check out the link below for more details. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.